paradox. Much research shows that when leaders build high quality relationships or high LMX with their employees, that's good for organizations. Yet, more recent research shows that when high LMX leaders leave, that's bad for organizations, as many of their employees choose to subsequently leave too, termed turner of a contagion or lift outs. None of this happens when a bad leader leaves. Under those circumstances, the employees left behind may want to exchange a bunch of high fives and may even want to throw a party. So what's an organization to do? In a paper that's in press now at AMR, I, along with my co-authors, Peter Hom, Wei Shen, and Rajri Agarwal, we examine this paradox. One key insight in our paper is that high LMX tends to strengthen two types of identification. Identification with not only the leader, but also the organization. And employees who identify strongly with their organization tend to be anchored to it. That is, they don't want to leave. A second key insight in our paper is that when organizations have an organization-wide developmental climate, that is, mentors everywhere, top-down, laterally, and bottom-up, employees never depend too much on any one person for their support. The same principle applies to investing. Putting all your money into one company might be a great strategy for fortune tellers who know the future, but for the rest of us, having a diversified portfolio is the best way to manage risk. Likewise, organizations can reduce the risk of turnover contagion and instead strengthen subordinates' organizational attachment by ensuring an organization-wide developmental climate so that high-quality relationships exist at all levels. Scholars before now have talked about the value to organizations of having a developmental climate or similarly a learning culture. In our paper, we explain three attributes of organization-wide developmental climate that improves on each of these. First, we emphasize the multi-directional nature of developmental activities, and therefore its organization-wide nature. Hence, our 360-degree relational perspective. This means the developer may not necessarily be an authority figure or even someone who is more senior in the organization. This is also why the term developer is preferred over mentor since the latter is often assumed to be one person and an authority figure. Second, we emphasize the need for an organization's procedures associated with training, performance appraisal, incentives, and reward allocations to all encourage multi-directional developmental activities. Third, we emphasize developmental activities. That is, actions relating to the many mentoring roles, including but not limited to coach, sponsor, friend, etc., identified in mentoring role theory, summed up by referring to emotional and instrumental support. Nothing lasts forever, including the tenure of a great leader. Indeed, it is natural for great leaders to move on to other career opportunities. Losing a high LMX leader need not weaken organizational attachment of subordinates left behind if the subordinates have many developers throughout the organization, that is, an organization-wide developmental climate.